Welcome back guys to the second round of Lankhang Dam. The first one we saw Western Province take by 180 tickets and I'm Fatso joined with Slippery Duck and Sexy Johnny tonight. Very lucky man I am indeed. Guys what an epic round that first one was. Tell me about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I've grabbed my popcorn now and I'm going to have a bit of a chew. See what happens this round. As long as you don't talk with your mouth full. Bad manners. Quite a few players missing from both teams. Three from province, six from Gauteng. Oh, we've got mm. guys dropping out like flies. It's a school night. And I'm going to watch Brandy Man with the starts, Jono. Your, your friend. Oh, he goes down. Cast this curse. Goes down to General Beatrice's Type 95 AA. No, because this is best of three guys and the way Battlefield works, Gauteng will want to win by 181 or more tickets. So keep an eye on that ticket counter. The red cannot go below 181 or Gauteng lose this map and we get forced to the decider, Golmud Railway. And again, Charlie Flair, guys. The prime real Ooh, estate. Really powerful in that uh, Tunguska at the moment. And Goose who's on Charlie Flair. Hold on, a TK Raptor. GK <laughs> Raptor is the first uh, well, first lot icon of the aerial combat around the, the hotel on Delta at the moment. GK Raptor right near the APC end. Yeah. And he's played he's played a clever role. He's gone for the long distance. Oof. Spots Lithium X pops his head up. Gets blown off. Great work by TK Raptor on the double at the moment. What else does he have to contend with as we pull our camera around here? See some sneaky province guys and oh APC of Mr. Chrono gets the oh my gosh lithium with that instinctive C4 that was incredible shish that's good work so we go into v Vixen's POV no not Vixen neither Vixen and Epicness both going down on Charlie Flag it looks like Hao Teng are going to come out on top this time on Charlie Flag let's shift the action yeah they need it they went down four to one there for a couple of seconds. <laughs> Not enough to make a big difference, but uh, we'll be looking to swing it back 3-2 to two as soon as possible. We see Fear taking a lot of fire is Fear, and he's down. Oof, attack Hilo, and that attack Hilo also. Do a barrel roll into a mountainside, but both the gunner and the pilot Squigzog surviving it. <laughs> Looks like a bit of a concerted push now towards Echo Flag from a few of the province players. A good move here as we see Vixen driving as only a lady driver can drive. Gets in there, does she survive? No! Getting shot in the back by Forsaken. Good defensive work by Gauteng. There's one alive though, we see Ratchet Rolf. He's gone the wrong way as Ratchet Rolf and he's paying for it. <laughs> So Echo Flag actually still getting an onslaught by Province. They've pushed double. Good both sides of those buildings being pushed by Province and they're burning the flag down as a result. They're getting the newt also. Big defensive work now for Forsaken to do. Spots, sprays, misses. Good work Province. Clean out that last little blue turd and let's take Echo. Here we go. Here we go. Bleed Action back over on for Echo. the good guys. And uh, as you say that, I watched Forsaken mop up the last little bit of Western Province dirt on Echo Flag. And let's push the attention into Delta Flag as we go to our favorite one and only Lungslung. Chilling in his tank. A lot of flags being contested at the moment. There's a lot of action happening around this map and that's the beauty of 30 vs 30 I guess. Well, some might call it beauty, chaos. Beauty, chaos, the same thing. Russellite, staying alive for dear life now. Gets the single pick, does Russellite. Does he get the double? No. Nope. He does, actually, before going down to Method. Thank oh, great work there on Charlie Flag, guys. We see Zaphire backing that APC up because it's dangerous for him. Huge battle on Bravo at the moment. Well, Gauteng down by two players and they're managing to hold on to a three flag legion. So they're doing a pretty good job. Despite what they have in numbers. Yeah, 
and Lang Slang pushing in on Bravo. Oh dear, C4 buggy up the bum. Oh, and we saw it there in the corner of our screens. Good work there. Oh, okay. followed by a small kill by Gold Beast. The mid air small kill. Gold Beast has just played an absolutely incredible round the whole night. It's been great to watch him. Very, very tight on tickets at the moment, still, guys. But uh, Western Province just had the bleed back on in their favor. Counting spawners. Spawners everywhere. Yeah, they're, they're all pushing. They'll want to hold on to this advantage, will Western Province. And Gauteng are going to need to do something out of the box. Gauteng oh. renowned for their rats, and it's showing in this match at the moment. Mad. Here's Brandy Man. Brandy Man going for the AA locks, and he's going to have to be careful. Here's Brandy Man because he's in trouble. Yeah, gets mowed down eventually by that Z11 Brandy Man going down together with Milk Dramida. Oh, big push by Gauteng onto Charlie Flag. Great work there. But a lot of troops, guys. Oh, chopper going down. A lot of troops big still. They're getting shot at from everywhere, all the province boys and girls. You say TK Raptor, the stalwart of Charlie. He's had a good night with TK Raptor. Down he goes, unfortunate for him. Mm. Delta flag, quite a lot of competition there at the moment from both teams. Just looking at the scores, Vur with the AA has just been an absolute nightmare. As we see munching Hado jeans again. Oof, just so dangerous there. And that, that AA, AA has been somewhat overpowered in Battlefield 4, I, I believe. And, uh, I guess promoting more infantry play for the children. He has Cuddles pushing in to Bravo flag together with the other infantry column of province. Tickets only 40 the difference, gentlemen. Very close game. This could go any way. Oh, C4 Buggy. How are you doing, Dusty? C4 Buggy by Mko. And he gets away. Lot of Western Province armor currently circling Bravo flag. APCs, tanks, AAs. And a lot and of infantry the there to stop them. I think they really want this flag. What do you think, Jono? They love the bee. They've already got their hands and their claws sunk firmly into the D. They do, but not... Looks like Dry Man in the tank is uh, doing a barrel roll of sorts in the tank. Not his normal roll. He does manage to reverse over a mine and get small. Dry Man, stay out of the armor, buddy. Oof. Let's go see what Tiger can do. Tiger with a double pick, like a beast. And province here are going to... Take the four to one cap, and they look pretty well set up as well. Just watching Tiger, it's just rocking. Will he get the trip? We'll have to see. Oh, he's being chased at the moment. Jump in the shower against Kudov. Oh, but eventually V Illuminus taking him down. Bravo flag is all but empty now, gentlemen. And we divert the attention once again to Charlie Flag. Only two flags in favor of Gauteng. And they're going to need to do something to turn this around. Mm. It's just been a tough one for Gauteng this, this second round. And remember, they need 181 tickets plus to be victorious. These attack boats are soon going to engage. Yeah, there's God. definitely going to be an attack boat battle very God -like soon. Godlike and aware, bro, and Godlike is not... Just playing the chess game is godlike here. Lovely. Oh, Western Province lose their, their boat. Yeah, good work there. And By the their troops. bleed as well. Hmm. Come on, the volleys. Going into Lithium X's POV. Lithium X with the pick. Gets the double pick, does Lithium pick. Uh, Lithium X, good work there. Still going, gets a partial. It's nice to see when you see just certain players just go on an absolute beast mode rampage and just tear shit up. It's nice to see. 
Very nice. And a lot of blue in the kill feed there. As Western Province pushing some heavy armor towards Delta Flag. What's that province are trying to make a push from Echo 2 if you take a quick look? You see TK Raptor gambling and not paying off in his favor. Echo Flag meantime neutralized by Province. Good work by them. Just to kind of stop that bleed and keep that advantage of 20-30 tickets. Oof. Good work though, uh, Harting shut them out, lose the cap on Delta, that big push worked. Meanwhile I have a uh, Hacksaw doing the work there. Brown Delta, there's still a contingency of Gauteng troops on Delta flag and they're going to want to take it back guys. Remember the bleed is against them now, that's not a favorable position, especially when you're playing for the win. will be able to get it. Ooh, ooh, some C4 on, on Beast here. Oh. What happened? Did the C4 disappear there? Must be honest, I wasn't watching unfortunately. Just trying to see how these troopies on Delta Flag for Gauteng are managing to survive. You see Hexor leading from the front, gets the double pick does Hexor, does he get the triple? Oh my gosh, Hexor, full blown beast mode. What? Mm, and Gauteng going crazy. Holy oh. crap, Hexor, take a bow, sir. Jeez, I hope you guys watch that. That is madness. Hexor with a five, eventually finishing off with his pistol. That is incredible infantry work by him. Lovely to see. Hexor's also had a great round tonight, actually. While I write down these names of players to remember. Still alive is Hexor. Fighting till the very end. Eventually takes down your mother and goes down. Your mother going so down Hexel to Hexel. going down on your mother and <laughs> Charlie Flag has gone back in the favor of Western Province. Ah, that He's island. Going. <laughs> your mother not having a big round this round. <laughs> An alpha flag yeah, now. The C4 buggy is not that effective in this round, so your mother not coming to the party. In any Why case, in alpha flag is not going to be burnt in favor of Gauteng, guys. So, it looks like the bleed is going to stay against them still. They're going to have to try something else. And there's too many Gauteng guys defending Delta, in my opinion. And we can obviously see that because we have this lovely spectator tool. But I would push my efforts elsewhere, and Gauteng are going to need to do that soon. Otherwise, this one is going to bleed out of their reach, and we're going to go to Golmud Railway. Which will make it anyone's I game. I think that might be a foregone conclusion. That's this final is going to go to a third map. As we see Mr. Elusive finding the ground with his attack helo. Oh, here comes a... Huge Western Province push on Echo. They will definitely get the cap. Yeah. Now, who's that coming in in the APC though? Salty Nuts. Mm -hmm. Salty Nuts is going to try his best to keep that pressure off, but uh, no chance. Gets a few troops off. Maybe bring down that building. But uh, it's too late. Oh, goes down. Ooh, good jet work there. Yeah, Brandy Man Brandy working man. it. Fantastic play here by Western Province as well. Just cementing their upper hand on this map. 120 tickets, guys, in favor of Province. That is quite a cementing. You are correct, Jono. Mm-hmm. Third map. What do you guys... Uh, how do you think it's going to go down there? There's still 100 guys, tickets I to go. I was going to say, I'd hate to point this out, but there's a long way to go. Oh, Hexor. Sorry, guys. Hexor. Oof. Hexor has played so well. Pity that I think you know, we've got 90 tickets now to go until this one is in the bag for Province, which will mean we'll go to the decider. It looks like it's going that way, but we'd rather bite our tongues here. But it does look like that Hexor Hexor playing an absolute blinder as well here. Sorry to cut you off there. No worries, buddy. Alpha Flag will go in favor of Province, or of Gauteng, excuse me, but. It's just not enough. Three flag advantage still in favor of Western Province.
Mm. It's oh, been a hell of a Getting their boat stolen. Having yeah. to sabotage it. Them volleys. Charlie flag now also gonna go in favor of Gauteng. We've seen things swing around guys, but um not if people like Yepsi can help it. Yepsi please with the AEK. Oh, gets one before going down to automatic automatic or Russian excuse me, Russellite of all people. The hero. Here comes Province pushing into Delta as well. Hungry for the D. Yeah, that's a big contingency and one would fancy Gauteng to push if it's elsewhere because they've only got 24 tickets to play with. I think that's not going to be enough for them. Mm. Uh, you won't keep a pack of uh, St. Province players off your D. Absolutely no matter what not. your defense is. You said that, not me. And uh, Echo Flag, very quiet. Province guys, just a few of them. It looks like this one is gone for Gauteng. We're going to go to the decider, guys. That is it for Gauteng. The tickets will bleed away, but everyone now knows we'll be going to Golmad Railway for the decider. And that is going to be a crazy map, gentlemen. I don't... not particularly a massive fan of it, must be honest with you, but uh, it is what it is. And it's been an... <laughs> we, can, we can only say it's been an epic clash tonight between the provinces. Everyone playing for a lot of pride, and I think that's why these games are drawing out. No one wants to give up, and it's just... it's good to see the fighting spirit so we will be going through to the final round. Oof, the final map, Goldmud Railway. Goodness, I believe I do need another whiskey though. Because it's a, it's a crazy one and the vocal cords are, are humming. As we see, Awebrach Brach 23 who's also had a good round, just drilling. I think oh maybe we we'll take bro. a moment just to follow a jet here. We've ignored them pretty much the entire game. See what kind of action they produce. You sound a bit upset, and as a result, I will follow Hato Jeans for you. See him there doing good work and taking down Yepsi in the Fantan. And probably the reason why we don't follow these jets Sheesh. and what have you around is because they is just because eat. They absolutely destroy, and they're not as entertaining as seeing the troops on the ground making big pushes on flags. I mean, we, we just see Hato Jeans now, it's just. just cleaning up. Yeah, he's going to wind up taking this other jet too, I believe. Yeah, you see they actually bailed out there. <laughs> if it was against him. Good tactical decision. Yeah, tactical decision. It's not going to matter though who dies in that jet engagement because like I said, this one is going to Golmud Railway. And Golmud Railway is not part of the set of maps that we normally cast on for competitive 8v8 battlefield so it's going to be entertaining and interesting to see how the 30 versus 30 plays out on the conquest large map or conquest extra extra large and also the moving train i mean that uh, extra flag uh, and there are a lot of flags on um, gold mud so how's that going to work with us how's that going to work out for these guys trying to keep it competitive oh and Hedo just Losing the plot there for a second. He might do something spectacular for us. Oh. How many flags does Gormud have? Seven, Nine? Eight, Twelve? Eight, possibly. Two hundred? Eleven. It could be quite a few, <laughs> gentlemen, but this one is going to go in favor of Western Province. So GG to them, forcing the decider, which will be Gormud Highway. We'll hear that round ending music play along as we watch Automatic just kind of cementing it there for Province. GG to province guys and uh, we'll be right back with the last deciding map after this short break. Refill your drinks, tell your friends, it's going to be a rocker. See you soon.